Hey Calvary, my name is Robert. I'm the family pastor here at Calvary and I have your word for the day today. This week we kicked off a study on mental health and this is an incredibly complex subject that's important for every one of us because no matter where you're at with this, what happens in our mind dictates the direction of our days, our weeks, and ultimately our life. As we look at this today, I also want to acknowledge that for many of you watching, you may have a larger battle in this arena of mental health. I recently read that over 40 million adults in the United States struggle on a regular basis with anxiety. That means almost 20% of adults in the United States say that anxiety is a struggle they have in their life. And I know that from working with teenagers, they as well face this on an incredible basis. And if that's you today, know that while our public discourse and conversation on anxiety may feel new, it's in fact nothing new to life. In the book of Philippians, which was written in AD 62, almost you know, uh, 2,000 years ago, Paul discusses anxiety and gives us some instructions. In Philippians 4, 6, he says, do not be anxious about anything. The end, hope you guys have a great day. We'll see you next time. See, that's not all of what Philippians says, but I'm gonna pause right there. Because if anxiety is something that's a struggle for you, that statement, don't be anxious about anything, feels like an incredibly unhelpful snippet. It almost feels a little condescending towards your struggle. But Paul states that to get our attention because he sets this up for a solution to our struggle. The full passage says this. It says, do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God and hear this church and the peace of God which surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. See, Paul doesn't just say to deal with it and stop being anxious and go on about your day. Instead, he gives us a path forward. He states that rather than focusing on our struggle, our, our fears, our stresses, our anxiety, we should spend time in prayer and take our request to God, living with thankfulness that we have a God who loves us, a God who cares about us, a God that wants to hear our requests and to help us. And then he tells us as we grow in our ability to fully do this, the result is that the peace of God will come into our life and guard our hearts and our minds. I know this may seem simplistic still, but this isn't a light switch you just flip on, but a muscle you grow and develop as you continue to follow and commit your life to Jesus. So no matter where you find yourself with this topic, if anxiety is something that just pops up when your day is super hectic and too busy, or if anxiety is something that grips and controls your life, I wanna challenge you to work at growing in your ability to take those requests and concerns to God and fully hand them over to Him so that the God of the universe can bring His peace into your life. We'll see you next time, Calvary. Have a great day.